What's up, YouTube? ODST General back again with a bit of a breaking inner system news here. Um, we missed the weekend update. I had been working on that other Halo uh, announcement I'd been teasing out for a while. However, I am waiting for Oni sensors to get back to uh, let me know what's going to be left of the video. And uh, so we've got some other stuff that I missed over the weekend. However, it's kind of fortunate because we had a big release last night. So let's go ahead and we're just going to do the whole inner system news today. Uh, so starting us off, we have the uh, the backpacks from the Oryx and the Scorpion tank and everything like that have been created into actual wearable backpacks. So these are going to be some new rucksacks you guys will have access to and can uh, actually wear with the, uh, the UNSC logo. So that's pretty cool. Uh, then we have uh, Freeman doing some uh, flip-up iron sights for the uh, VK-78, so also fairly neat and uh, still very much work in progress. I think a couple of these actually got deleted and are not going to be used, but it um, be kind of interesting to see where he goes with that. Then we have the, uh, the Scorpion tank, which is getting its mine roller, which is going to be pretty awesome. So it actually looks like it's pretty functional and everything and is in now uh, working order. So we got a teaser video for that, which is also very cool. Now, the uh, probably the most exciting news, I would say, for this is the release of the Jackals from Operation Trebuchet First Contact Development Branch. Uh, this is, again, on development branch, not live build yet. These things are still work in progress. But yeah, the Jackals were released. Um, so they use a standard Armament skeleton. Uh, they do come with a new weapon, which is their uh, shield, which comes also with a uh, plasma pistol. As of right now, the shield doesn't actually stop any bullets, and so I'm sure that's going to change at some point here. But yeah, right now, they're, uh, they're not really functional in that sense. Uh, but yeah, the shield and plasma pistol are uh, automatically connected and all that stuff. They can also use other weapons too, so you know there is also variants that you can place down with like the uh, the carbine or the, uh, the beam rifle and stuff like that. Um, pretty exciting stuff, pretty neat looking here. Um, you know, and uh, of course, I still not done, but uh, I think any unit that has like first contact or uh, you know, just Human Covenant War stuff is going to be really excited to use this. Now, with that being said, we still have a lot of other news, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the little footage here. I'm not sure exactly how much time I have left to cover this. I'll just let the rest of the video play of them basically firing and moving a little bit. But uh, we're going to go ahead. So we have uh, community stuff. So starting us off with the community side of things is the first MEU. So the first MEU is, of course, like always, going pretty crazy with their stuff. Uh, they teased off the Spartan laser, which looks like it is very close to completion. I'm not exactly sure how much longer until we get this, but I have a feeling when the first time you releases their next update, it's going to have several major things. So yeah, we've got the, uh, the Spartan laser. Uh, we've got another look at the Covenant drop pods, which apparently work in Zeus. So Zeus can actually drop these pods off in a pretty quick order, which is pretty neat. And again, these are like multi-troop pods too, so that will be... All the more awesome, especially now that we have, like, jackals and stuff like that. Uh, and then, ending us with the first MEU, we have a look at their Zealot Ghost, which is something we talked about a while back, a little bit. But uh, we finally have a look at it, so Zealot Ghost is a red and silver ghost. also very appropriate for any banished troops, if you guys are, uh, anybody's starting to do banished, which I know some uh, banished retextures happen to be going on right now, too, I haven't talked about. Um, this thing comes equipped with a uh, fuel rod on it, as you guys can see, and it looks like it still has the standard uh, plasma rounds too. So this should be a very cool unit, so I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, then after the first MEU, we go to a uh, new work in progress project. Actually, you know what, let's hold off on that one. Let's actually talk about some of the other units too, and then we'll talk about that work in progress thing last. How about that? Uh, so let's actually go over the 19th. So the 19th is working on a uh, new vehicle called the M511 Springbok, which is a fan in design. Uh, but it very, very much feels like an actual Halo design. Looking at this thing, it looks right at home in like Halo Wars 2 or something like that. Um, this thing looks like it is getting very close to completion. We get to see it in substance painter with textures and everything done. Uh, get some 3D models of it. But yeah, basically it's uh, kind of the... Uh, 
Halo version of a striker a little bit. You know, you got troop transport capabilities in this thing. You've got a uh, version which has, you know, like a crow system, and they're doing potentially a uh, coaxial uh, machine gun on there for people to use, and you've also got, like, an anti-tank variant. So that's a really cool vehicle. I'm really excited for the Springbok. I think that's going to be a really awesome vehicle and something a lot of the community is going to be very excited to actually get their hands on and use. Um, so then that brings us to the 41st with what is probably literally the biggest news in here. Uh, they have released a number of new assets to their declassified mod pack, including a, uh, you know, some new covenant structures. Uh, some of the stuff's not shown here, but they've got like lava pallets now. Uh, and probably the biggest news that they have is the inclusion of a Phoenix class uh, static objects. So the Phoenix class is, of course, the Spirit of Fire, um, or at least that class of ship, which are big giant colony ships, which have been refitted for combat. But yeah, they've got a, a spire structure too, which uh, the spire structure actually has interiors in it, and uh, they've got a bubble shield that goes alongside of it, so that's really neat too. I'm pretty excited for that. Um, all in all, this is going to be a pretty awesome update for the 41st, I think, and I think a lot of you guys are probably going to be really excited to see the stuff they added to that. And again, another great, fantastic thing for Human Covenant War stuff. Uh, of course, with that Phoenix class, you know, it's going to be a, a nice asset regardless of whether or not you do uh, Human Covenant War or, you know, you're doing, um, you know, Human you know, versus human conflict stuff because, you know, those, uh, those Phoenix classes are older ships too, so you might see them in there. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our last project, which is something I actually missed out on in my last video. I didn't know about this project. I completely missed it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about that. So we have Project Shipyard. So Project Shipyard is a pretty cool thing here. Uh, their goal is essentially to make ship interiors. It looks like primarily based off the Pillar of Autumn, but they're trying to make them compatible for at least... Ethan's uh, destroyer. Um, you know, these will potentially work with other ships, you know, maybe not the Drake because of its size or the, the frigate. But, uh, you know, some of these other ships that are coming out, things like the uh, the Spirit of Fire and stuff like that, are potentially going to work with these interiors. Of course, you know, you don't even necessarily need to use them with ships. They might just make a mission location, stuff like that. Uh, so they have actually a whole laid out uh, plan of attack for this with separate releases and updates and everything. Um, starting off, off, they have uh, their first release, which they've listed as uh, foundations, which is floors, walls, uh, railings, connective trims, door frames, uh, structure frames, pipes, and pillars, and so on and so forth. Uh, then release two is roads and barriers, staircases, stuff like that and it goes on and on and on you guys can see the picture because i've included the release map i'm not going to go over all of it um but it's really cool this is still very early uh work in progress but we do get a little bit of a peek at what they're working on we get a uh, peek at uh of course the actual halo ce glass doors that we see throughout the game and you can see them basically how they've kind of recreated that look as well as the um the hallways and stuff from the Pillar of Autumn. So this is going to be a very, very cool project. They've also stated that they are potentially interested in doing the ship exteriors, although that sounds like it is a lower priority than the interiors, which I think is fine because, as it turns out, the uh, the 41st has also created a Halcyon class, which is not public yet. Um, it sounds like it will be public at some point down the road, but uh, as of right now, the, the 41st Halcyon class is still private. But, again, you know, that doesn't really matter too much because, again, we just got a spirit, you know, the Spirit of Fire, the Phoenix class. We've got uh, Ethan's Destroyer. The 41st also has the, the Halberd Destroyer, too. Uh, we've got the Frigates from Optre. We've got the Drake class from Optre. There's a lot of different ship interiors. And, again, you don't even necessarily need to use these hallways with interiors. These could be... Um, terrestrial structure interiors if you wanted them to be ground buildings basically and stuff you could tuck them away inside of ground structures and stuff like that so there's a lot of possibilities so this is a mod i'm very excited to see uh come to fruition it doesn't seem like development's going super duper quick on it but uh, hopefully it shouldn't take them super long to get these new ship interiors and pieces out and i'm really excited for it um 
All right, guys, that is it for this week. I tried to make this video as fast and painless as possible. Of course, I'm sure that everybody's excited for the Jackals, but what's everybody's favorite new thing from it? Um, and if you guys are looking forward to using the Jackals, let me know in the comments below. What's your guys' first plans to do with the Jackals? Uh, let me know that. And guys, take it easy. I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>